Today I'm going to show you how to calculate cost of goods cost of goods manufactured and cost of goods sold. Suppose we are having a, a lumber business, we are making furniture. So we have three inventories. The first one would be the raw materials inventories. This would be the lumber. And then we are going to have the uh, work in process inventory. This is where uh, we are converting the raw materials into finished goods. So uh, that's where the uh, carpenters is going to use tools to work on the lumbers. And then uh, we have the finished goods inventories. This inventory carries all the furniture that has been 100% completed. Let's take a look at the raw materials inventory. Let's suppose that the beginning balance is $2,000, and during the year we purchase the materials $2,500. That means in the inventory, the total materials available for use would be $2,000 20 hundred plus 2500 4500 and I suppose during the year we use the three thousand dollars materials so that will leave the ending balance of the raw materials inventory to be 1500 and now let's take a look at the working in process inventory suppose the beginning balance is 500 and we know that we have used the direct materials that is three thousand Assume the direct labor cost is 1200 and the manufacturing overhead is 300. So when we add all these numbers together, this gives me the total cost of work in process. So that will be 5000. Assume the ending balance for this inventory is 250. So that means the cost of goods manufactured is 4750. Now let's take a look at the finished goods inventory. Suppose the beginning balance is, is 1000. We know that the, co the goods manufactured cost is uh, 4750. So the total goods available for sale would be the sum of the two numbers. This gives us 5750. Let's assume that the ending balance of the finished goods inventory is 1300. So that means the difference would be the cost of goods sold 4450. That's it. Have a nice day.